in this video we are going to discuss about ospf so the full form is open shortest path first this is a protocol and you see what is ospf actually so you see open shortest path first is a first link state protocol and that we will learn about and you see that link state apart from link state protocol it is open standard protocol that means any vendor can use the devices with this they configure they can configure the, their devices with this protocol so compared to eigrp which is a distance vector protocol ospf is more complex and also it supports vlsm and cidr and many more and what are the features of this ospf protocol works on concept of areas and autonomous system numbers and it is highly scalable that means you can configure in larger networks and supports vlsm cidr and discontiguous networks that means vlsm is classless networks and also slash notation networks also can be used in this configuration of ospf so coming it does not have a hop count limit so as an rip which is having a maximum hop count limit as 15 this does not have any hop count limit here so works in multi vendor environment as we discussed open standard environment which is nothing but a uh, open vendor environment also so minimizes updates between neighbors so it minimizes updates between neighbors by maintaining a neighbor table so that whenever a route is forwarded it looks at that neighbor table and will be having the information of the neighbors assigned to that interface here so while in the above list a very basic overview of ospf has been observed and also you see that ospf and will be expanded in coming sections here so we will be discussing about ospf in labs what we discuss and also about the certain scenarios where ospf features are very workable and they are looked into very keenly here and it is a good time to take a step back and compare this one with an eigrp which is a distance vector protocol and ospf features are very well known here so coming to the next topic here you see about the features and you see the protocols available so what are the types and what are the classful protocols everything is mentioned in this table so you can see about the first two points here what is the protocol type here so ospf is a link state protocol and eagrp is a hybrid protocol and rip version 1 is a distance vector and rip version 2 is a distance vector again here so this is class full pro which supports classful protocol ospf does not support support classful but eagrp also does not support it but rip version 1 supports the class full network here and vlsm support so which of these four supports vlsm so vlsm is supported in ospf and eagrp and rip version 2 here so these are the hop count limits discontiguous network support everything is mentioned about the ospf eagrp rip version 1 and rip version 2 here so coming to the next point here one feature that really separates ospf from other protocols is about their supporting hierarchical design so when you compare eagrp ospf and other protocols the main reason or the main thing here is about the hierarchical design in ospf and what exactly this means that the larger internetwork is segregated into smaller networks but having the same autonomous system number here so these are called as areas so dividing the areas into smaller areas of the internetwork here it should not be noted that this native so that it is very clear here that it should be noted that those separate still the ospf comes under the same autonomous system so the autonomous system for the ospf even though divided into smaller areas can be same autonomous number this is distinctly different from the way eagrp works so how the way the eagrp works the ospf protocol comes in a different way and it is different from eagrp so while in eagrp each autonomous system functions independent of others that means the one autonomous system is independent of others but here even though the areas are divided they belong to one autonomous system here so coming to hierarchical design you should see the following benefits here what are the benefits used in ospf protocol decrease routing overhead and flow of updates that means due to this fo this follows with three tables which is neighbor table topology table and the routing table the decrease in routing overhead and also update flow is lessened here so that after getting less 
here the performance will be in high so that the routing table information or the neighbor information or the topology information is not frequently overflown and limit network problems such as instability to an area. So, so instability to an area and network problem is getting less here speed up convergence. So, the catching up with the neighbor will be speeding up and one disadvantage of this planning and configuration of OSPF is that it is more difficult to configure or it is more complex when compared with EIGRP. So, coming to the basic design here you can see that router A, router B, router C, router D, router E and router F are the combination of OSPF and here how it is configured. You see they are connected to each other, but here the internetwork is divided into smaller areas. The entire area is divided into smaller areas so that it is very easy to maintain them. So, you see area 0 has router A, B, C, D in it and the router the area 1 has router C and router E, area 2 has router D and router F. So, the area the one big area is divided into 3 areas for more troubleshooting per perspective as well as more performance perspective. This is always true in OSPF design all areas needs to connect to area 0 that means if after configuring all the areas or segregating the network into area wise all have to connect to area 0. So, this is about OSPF network. So, in depth in detail about the real time examples as well as the lab part everything would be discussed in the future videos.